viewers and subscribers. This is the Geo Scholar here. I'm at the park. You've got here Branta Canadiensis or the Canada Goose. I'm at a park. Got some houses, a church. And at this park, being surrounded by, by places where people live, you've got this pond, body of fresh water here where the Canada goose does very well. It's a waterfowl, so waterfowl naturally like to be around bodies of fresh water. And one thing about Canada geese, Canada geese are very adaptable. They can live in the wild or they can live in places not too far from where humans are. This is a park. Human beings gather here. And so do the Canada geese. Canada geese are fun to watch in the water. They're fun to watch fly in the V formation. They are also regarded as a pest species. There are a few reasons why this is. Many people do not like the noises that Canada geese make, especially if they live in areas very close to where Canada geese congregate in large numbers. Canada geese are known for being sort of territorial, known for being kind of aggressive. This is certain kinds of behavior that many people do not like out of Canada geese. And there's also something else. If you have a weak stomach, do not watch this part. That's one other reason why they are considered a pest species. These droppings. Feces. Canada geese are not very discriminant towards where they do their business. And right next to a pond. Funny little thing. Bird feces, well, bird feces gets into ponds and causes stuff like algae. When you have that algae in the lake, that depletes a lot of oxygen in bodies of water like ponds and lakes. And this is very bad for the fish. This can kill fish. The Canada goose is an amazing animal. It can be scorned and respected at the same time. On the one hand, it's very adaptable. It can breed in most places and it doesn't take much to help this animal breed. At the same time, it can be scorned because it's regarded as a pest species. It's, people look at some of the problems that this type of waterfowl can cause. And it speaks to the human environmental interaction. It speaks to the relation between animals and their ecosystems. Something to consider. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. A big shout out to Atlas Schmatlis, who is pledging $3 a month on this channel. I leave you with this message. Get out, explore, see what's around you. That's one way you learn geography.